what has been some of your most most significant work at Canon? What would, what looking back, what would you say has been your favorite or most important okay. work? I think the the leaching of the sulfide minerals was certainly the initial work, and it carried on maybe for on and off for 25 or 30 years. Uh, it resulted in some early review articles in South in the South African review journals and Canadian American review journals, uh, outlining the, the work that had been done on sulfide leaching, looking at the processes. Um, that I thought was one we. We think we found an interesting observation in that when you discuss sulfide leaching in theory, everyone says the sulfur forms a uniform layer on the sulfide mineral. And as soon as we started to look at it microscopically, you see that's not the case at all, that the sulfur forms in discrete sites. It certainly changes your way of looking at the mechanism. Uh, we started to see well-formed, faceted sulfur crystals when we were leaching. And that convinced us that the sulfur was dissolving as hydrogen sulfide gas and then was being oxidized at certain sites to form either globules or, in some cases, uh, sulfur crystals. So that work, we worked on it for a long time and then got out of that field, but others carry on. Uh, sulfide leaching is still uh, the holy grail of metallurgy. If you can do it at 100 degrees, you know, you, you avoid smelting altogether. There, people see uh, some advantages to it, but the smelting industry has changed as well, and it's made many improvements over the years, so smelting still remains the, uh, the most attractive way to do it if you can get rid of the acid. I think that's okay. the, the key step.